In this video, I'm going to let you know where I've been since I haven't been on YouTube and let you in on a little secret. I wanted to make this video today just to kind of get you caught up to let you know where we've been. I haven't made any RV videos lately and that is because we had several weeks that we did a lot of traveling. We went to my mom and dad's and then we went with Maddie to Disney World which I've already posted that video and I'll link it if you want to go see that. So then after we got back from there the next week we left and went to Putacana Iberia Star, and I will be doing a video on that. I just haven't edited it yet. So we spent a whole week there at the all-inclusive, just enjoying ourselves and relaxing and having a really good time. We didn't do a ton of video or filming. We just wanted to take a break. Now, with the word break, I just feel like I had gotten to the point, I worked so hard on these videos and then they don't do so good or don't do as good as I thought. It typically seems the ones that I think are gonna do really good do horrible and the ones that I think, oh, this is a bust, do good. So maybe I should just think of all the bust ideas. <laughs> YouTube is hard. Like, I have to come up with ideas. I have to buy all the stuff. I have to film all of it. I have to edit all the videos. It is a lot on me to do that. Well, I had started to do a little adventure. Y'all know I talked about it. I've been doing some shirts and stuff lately, and I really focused a lot on that on Etsy right now because one, I enjoy designing these shirts, and two, I feel like I might could do a little better or make a little more money than I do on YouTube on that. So I kind of sent my energy that way because, you know, I am a realtor, so I have that's like my number one priority. And then I like really branch myself off. I have so many extra things that I'm always doing. But one of the big things that I ended up doing, I ended up publishing a book. This is a camping book and journal book. So basically what I did is I designed the cover and this is just my publisher's copy. So this is not for resale. It was just for me to make sure that everything in it was good. And it's been approved and it is for sale on Amazon. I will link it down below so that if this is something that y'all are interested in purchasing, you can. I've already sold several of them. I believe people are gonna love this. So I made it like a cute little front cover and I'll put you one that's not got do not sell on the front of it because like I said this is my other one is on the way that doesn't have this on there for right now this is all I had to show you that got this got published the past week and I'm so excited about it and I love how this turned out and I really think that it would be a great thing for people who camp especially if you like to make notes about campgrounds and things so basically this is a camping journal and RV log book. You can put where you went from, where you went to, the route, if you wanted to put any details on that, how the weather was while you were there, how many miles you traveled to get there, what date. You can also put the name of the campground, you can rate the campground, you can put the phone number, you can use the Wi-Fi username and password on there, you can put the address, you can rate the Wi-Fi speed, the cell service, the location, the restrooms. You can put the website, their email, the site number that you stayed at, and the cost of the site that you stayed at. You can also mark all the different things that pertain to the campground details. And then also, I know y'all do this because me and Bill do this. Whenever we stay at an RV park, we'll walk around and I'll be like, oh, that's a campsite that we would like. That would be a nice one to have if we came back here. I just make notes in my phone of those campsites. I just thought it would be a better to actually put all this information in one place and in a book. 
It even has a place that if you wanted to put down, like if you made some new friends and want to put their information on there. I mean, I know you have a phone that you can do that in. I'm a write it down kind of person. I like to physically write things down. So I just thought this would be way better. On the other side, you can put the activity and places that you visited, places that you would saw that you would like to visit next time, favorite memories of it, also, you can put some restaurants, food, and dining. Then it has a place that if you want to put anything else. I wanted to make this an all-in-one book that I think you would enjoy. I have a few other things that I'm working on as well behind the scenes. So if you've missed me, I'm sorry. And hopefully soon I will be back on here like normal. So if this book is something you might be interested in to checking out, go check out my link. Till next time, like and subscribe.